again first we'd like you to subscribe to the repa because i'm doing very good things here at repa all right Corey holcomb calls the repa a buster you know see you know most people think that i don't like Corey or whatever you know and Corey probably thinks how could that nigga like me you know that cake ass nigga always making videos about me but see let me tell you something Corey man you know, uh, you my favorite comedian. You know why you my favorite comedian? Because your goofy ass, you know, uh, will reach out to us. You know, you like the uh, ghetto godfather of comedians. Because look, you on your show, right? Talking about the motherfucking Reaper. And then say I don't have no views. And look me up. And you try to chastise the whole hood, which I don't agree with, Corey. But then you say, this cake-ass nigga talking like he know me. You know. <laughs> well, Corey, everybody talk like they know you. You know, because, you know, like I say, your goofy ass will reach out back to us. Because, you know, you like the ghetto godfather and your show is unique. And you say some shit on your show, you know. Uh, that other people just don't do and say, you know, the Reaper keep it 1000. You know, I've been watching Corey ever since the RMC days, you know, um, I thought the show was a little bit more realer, you know, back then when it had Zoe Williams on it and it had Bobby Glanton Smith, you know, uh, that show was on point and Corey was the comedy relief, but they used to talk about a lot of things on that show, you know, tools that people could use. The Reaper Keep It 1000. And that's what got me started on Corey. Now, with that being said, Corey's not above criticism, you know, because Corey said on that show, 
He said, when you see me hang out with celebrities or I start looking the other way on shit, that means that I'm sold out. Well, I saw celebrities start appearing on Corey's show, you know, uh, like Tiffany Haddish, Nick Cannon, you know, um, and executive, you know, people, you know, of a higher ilk and a higher status in the game done appeared, you know, on Corey Holcomb's show, you know, um, well, my eyebrows went up at that point, you know, because Corey said that he a whole ass nigga and he's a sellout if he start doing this whole ass shit. This is what he said. Then I saw Flame Monroe appear on there, you know, then I saw... You know, Stephen A. Smith with the piece of chicken and Corey was going at it with everybody on the show and everybody that gave that show some substance, you know, uh, you know, uh, is off of that show now. The Reaper Keep It 1000. And then I saw Corey making a couple cameos in movies and, you know, and getting black Jesus. And, you know, he's done a stand up you know, routine, you know, a stand-up comedy show. So my eyebrows has went up because Corey said if he started doing this kind of shit, it was whole-ass nigga shit. And then he said he would look the other direction, you know, for a paycheck, you know, um, on some of the fuck shit that's going on because he's not going to be critical of somebody that can give him a check, but then he says he don't sell out for a check. You know, the Reaper Keep It 1000, like he said, Stephen A will do anything for a check. You know, well, Stephen A is doing the same thing you said you wouldn't do. He's looking the other direction, you know, for that big $12 million paycheck, the Reaper Keep It 1000. So it's not that I don't like Corey, you know. Um, shoot, Corey's my favorite comedian. You know, but when he goes to the fuck shit, he goes to the fuck shit. Now, the Reaper was just making secondary commentary on Corey shit, on the fuck shit that he do, because he is my favorite comedian. He is approachable. He will get back with you and shit like that, because he's from the hood. His comedy is hood comedy. This is why we like him. This is why we get him. But when he start doing the fuck shit, I start commenting on some of the fuck shit that he said on his show and that he done on his show, right? You know, and then Corey wants to comment back, oh, that nigga at Home Depot and said this and said that. Ah, oh, nigga go work at Home Depot, that buster ass nigga, you know. And this is what we love about Corey because I know if I put the pressure on Corey, Corey's going to comment back, right? Right, because Corey is our comedian, you know, he's a hood nigga, you know, but I don't even think he knows his worth because he criticized Zoe Williams when they got into it and said, you know, uh, he let Zoe know controversy sales with can I get a lick t-shirts and shit like that. And he was telling Zoe to come back to the show and not worry about what people think or whatever, you know, because any type of publicity is publicity and he can turn it into some money but when fans start criticizing him like uh don lexi they had a show uh gms and a couple other people you know uh with fair criticism you know uh cory started to come back with venom you know uh against these guys the reaper keep it 1000 you know and you know he started to think he could chastise the whole hood. We know where you at, nigga. I'll pull up. We know where you at, nigga. You know, and I just don't think he realizes his worth, you know, to the community. I don't think he realizes just because a nigga is critical of your motherfucking ass, you know, your piece of shit ass, nigga, uh, don't mean that we don't like you. You know, the Reaper keep it 1,000. You know, if you do some fuck shit, you do some fuck shit too. You ain't above fuck shit. And your emotional, uh, female-minded fans will come to your defense. But I don't even think, you know, nigga, you realizes, you know, your self-worth, you know, uh, in our community. But I do, right? 
And so I realize your self-worth and I, I realize when you doing some fuck shit because I know when you doing some fuck shit. I've been watching you for a long time. And when you do some fuck shit, the Reaper comment on the fuck shit that you do, you know, just like you got into it with Zoe Williams and Grady. That was some fuck shit. Because, you know what, those two men added something to that show to make it funny, and Zoe added knowledge, you know, with his point Dexter ass, and when you did that to Zoe, I was on Zoe's side till, you know, uh, he went and caked out and made that show, and then I criticized him because, uh, Precise, you know, through a burner account, right, he said some fuck shit about Zoe, and I said Zoe shouldn't have, uh, forgave him for that because you know i mean he could you know he could forgive him but you know i mean he shouldn't have publicly said that you know because let me just say this when somebody say something like that and they think it's you on a burner account that's how they really feel about you and we know how Corey be gassing that nigga precise up or whatever but zo gonna come back this is the problem that i had with zo i'm saying zo i know you want to come back to the show or whatever and you shouldn't have forgave that nigga i made a video zo gonna come back yeah i the reaper keep it 1000 how can a youtube hobo tell me this and tell me that and this that and the other so i started to criticize the fuck shit that you did zo the reaper keep it 1000 it's not that i don't like these niggas i think they both add something but i just feel like you know hey you know they're not above criticism when they do fuck shit and they should have known not to come at me. You know, I, I don't know why they come at me because I'm not that nigga that they should be coming at. Now, let's analyze what Corey said. Corey said that I'm a buster, right? But Corey's admitted that he's a buster. Look, he talked about his brother and his mother, you know, which was family business. He turned it into street business, just like uh, it was back room business between him and Zoe Williams. He turned it into street business, just like it was back room business between him and Grady. He turned it into street business. And he said himself, you know, he got a child out there that he hasn't been there for properly that another man raised him him or whatever, you know, well, that's some fuck shit, Corey, you know, you done talked about your baby's mamas, which is the kids' mothers on the air, that's some fuck shit, but then you call me a buster, like I said, you could be a, you could be a rich punk or a poor punk, you still a punk, you know, the reaper keep it 1,000, and, you know, but you've admitted that you was a buster because you said that you would look the other way for a check, but all, all of a sudden, now you the hood profit, but you will look the other way for a check. See, you could call me a buster, Corey, you know, but you the real buster because you done admitted out of your own mouth that you a buster. And see, the Reaper will always destroy you, Corey, with your own words. Reaper, we keep it rough. We keep it raw. We keep it real. Make sure you subscribe to the Reaper because I'm doing good things here at Reaper. Reaper out. Peace.